<clears throat> Hi, dear parents. Welcome back to another math hour. Um, today, I'm just going to show you another division example uh, where you have a smaller number divided by a larger number. In this case, you got 38 divided by 47. And we're going to use the same split division technique in order to solve this. So let's begin. So as you can see, step number one. First, what you're going to do is you're going to count, well, how many numbers do you have inside this division box? You have one and you got two. And with split division technique, what you're going to do is that you're going to take one of this number and split it or break it from the other number, number eight. Split that apart and put it on the other side as well. All you're doing is just snapping the numbers off. And what you now get is that you get two individual divisions. So on the left side, it's always good to label left and right so you know which direction you're going. On the left side, inside the division box, you're going to get the number 3. And on the outside of the division box, you're going to get the number 47. Because 47, as you can see, is always on the outside. So that number will always stay the same. It's always going to be on the outside of the division box. And now, let's go to the right side. On the right side, we're going to have another division problem. And inside the division box, you're going to get the number 8. Because 8 is right inside as well. So 8 goes inside the division box. And outside, you're going to get 47 again. And now we've set up the division. And now we just need to tackle it one problem at a time. So we always start from the left side. So 47 multiplied by some number is close to 3. And obviously the answer is 0. 47 times 0 is 0, and that's the closest number we can get to 3. And 3 minus 0 is 3. Now again, please don't forget, whatever number you put on the top, you got to put it on top of the answer as well, because that's part of the answer. So that's done, but we got a problem here, ladies and gentlemen. 3 is homeless. 3 has no friends. No number should be homeless. This number needs a home. And the only available home is right next door, where Mr. 8 lives. And 3 goes over there, and goes right in front of Mr. 8, and together they become 38. That's how this split division problem works. And now, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. 48 multiplied by some number is very close to 38. And of course, again, the answer is 0. And of course, whatever number you put on top, you put it on top over here as well. There was a zero from before, and there's a zero over here now as well. You see that? The zero goes over here. And 47 times zero is zero. And when you minus it, you get 38. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we got a problem. 38 is homeless. 38 has no friends. And there is no more division boxes available for 38 to go into. So we need a hero. We need someone to save the day. And that hero is called Zero the Hero. And how do you activate Zero the Hero? You put a decimal point. The minute you put a decimal point, you get a zero with a smiley face. And we have used Zero the Hero. And now don't forget, if you put the decimal point in your answer, you got to put a top over here as well, which is going to be the main answer as well. And now we're going to continue on with our multiplication. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a problem. 47 multiplied by some number is very close to 380. How are we going to figure this out? Well, in my previous video, I taught you a little bit about number lines, how to make educated guesses when multiplying. So I'm going to bring my number line down over here. And as I mentioned in my previous video, the best number to start with when it comes to multiplying, when you're guessing, is the number 5. Always start with the number 5. So I'm going to do 47 times 5. And I'm going to check and see if I get an answer close to 380. So 7 times 5 is 35. 5 times 4 is 20. And 20 plus 3 is 23. So 47 times 5 is 235. Not bad, but it's kind of small. It's not that close to 380. I think we can multiply a bigger number. So let's try 47 times 
Let's try 47 times 8. Let's try a bigger number. Again, we're making an educated guess here. So let's see. 47 multiplied by 8. We'll see if that's any closer to 380. We know that 8 times 7 is 56. And 8 times 4 is 32. And 32 plus 5 is 37. Wow! Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. 376 is very close to 380. I think we got an answer. So I think it's uh, 47 multiplied by 8. I think that will be the best number to use here. It is very close to 380 because we found out that 47 times 8 is 376. And you can't get any closer than that. And we're going to minus it, and you're going to get 4. And now don't forget, because you put the 8 over here, you got to put the 8 on top over here as well. And now, again, ladies and gentlemen, same situation. 4 is homeless, 4 is friendless. We need, we need a hero to save the day. And that hero is, again, 0 the hero, already activated. So you just need to put a circle with a little smiley face on it. And again, ladies and gentlemen, same thing. 47 times some number is very close to 40. And that answer, again, is 0. Because 47 times 0 is 0. And when you minus it, you get 40 over here again. And don't forget, you put the 0 on top of the answer as well. And there we go. We can stop right here. Because for my class, you just need two digits after the decimal point. So, final answer. 38 divided by 47 is roughly 0 0.80 in terms of the answers. The real answer, if you do this completely, is 38 divided by 47 is 0 0.8085106. We don't need to worry about that. As long as you got two numbers after the decimal point, two numbers, that's good enough for my class. And there we go. This is how you divide on uh, multiple digit numbers using an educated technique called guessing. And that's how you do this technique. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.